Hi, I'm Sam Drazen from the Chrome XR team. We work on advancing the web to power compelling virtual, mixed, and augmented reality experiences. Google is committed to growing the immersive web, and we believe that immersive computing and the web complement each other. The web excels at providing information you didn't know you needed right until you need it, like how to fix a leaky sink. Even if you installed an app for this, you'd likely uninstall it as soon as you were done. Situations where immersive experiences shine are often ephemeral or sporadic. You might not buy a sofa very often, but when you do, it's likely helpful to see how big it is or whether it will fit your room's decor. The web empowers users to explore and discover easily and in the moment without the burden of installation. In addition, the web also unifies hardware and ecosystems. It runs on laptops, phones, desktops, even cars. For XR hardware, like virtual reality headsets, there are already numerous siloed app ecosystems that exclusively cater to their respective hardware platforms. The web unifies these device ecosystems under one common XR platform, while also serving form factors like smartphones and augmented reality headsets. The web provides a clear path to broadly access users, devices, and ecosystems. That, in conjunction with compelling use cases that are best served ephemerally, has driven us to push the immersive web forward. And we have some exciting updates and user stories to share. Last year at CDS, we previewed the WebXR Device API, an imperative API that enables web developers to create VR experiences for tethered and mobile VR systems. We're excited to announce that the core VR capabilities of the WebXR Device API are available now in Chrome 79 beta. Next month, we will ship WebXR and Chrome Stable in the 79 release. We're ecstatic to be joined by other browsers like Firefox Reality and Oculus Browser, who will also be shipping WebXR before the end of the year. This solidifies the foundation for VR within the web platform, completing what WebVR started years ago. 3JS continues to be a flagship library in simplifying and extending access for web developers to 3D programming. Version 1.10 and later feature important updates to its WebXR support, taking care of the heavy lifting with regards to rendering and controller inputs. For enhanced testing and debugging of immersive VR experiences, a WebXR emulator extension was created by Mozilla. This extension enables developers to test WebVR experiences from their desktops with selectable XR hardware emulators. Another announcement we made last year was the introduction of Model Viewer, a web component that makes it easy to embed interactive 3D models to view on the web and in AR. Since then, we've added features such as advanced controls to access and position the camera, animation support, and integrations to view models in 3D and AR via Quick Look on iOS and Scene Viewer on Android. It's been exciting to see XR making waves on the web, empowering developers to innovate and address real market needs. Let's hear from a few companies that have applied some of these tools to their sites. In the past year, we've made it possible for our merchants on our platform to upload and manage 3D models and to feature them on their online store in the same way that images and video work. Now shoppers can see products in a whole new way. They can zoom in and zoom out and rotate the product to see it in any angle they want, down to the smallest detail. And the best part is they can tap the augmented reality button to see what that product looks like in their home, see it outside, and even see if it fits in their car. And the results have been amazing. Shoppers are up to two and a half times more likely to buy when interacting with 3D models because they're more confident in what it is they're buying. La Trobe University is actively investing in the future of university life. Working with XHQ and Google on WebXR, we are seeking to unlock the university experience to students and the community everywhere, irrespective of time, location, or technology platform. We've begun with the construction of buildings in the physical world and embarking on exciting opportunities to build the virtual world. We see the incredible potential for technology to enhance and augment student life. Our focus with XHU is to create an immersive experience for the community. With this project, we started by creating augmented reality and virtual reality apps to engage the students with the university. There have been great strides taken towards realizing the immersive web, but this is only just the beginning. Here is what you can expect next. 
Through the W3C Immersive Web Community Group, AR incubations within WebXR are ongoing and have made great progress, exploring features like hit tests and anchors and how they enable powerful AR experiences for the web. You can try these experiments out today in Chrome Canary. For more information, check out github.com slash immersive dash web. As a part of the GamePad's module spec work, a registry of controllers is being developed to provide more detailed information about the capabilities and layouts of controllers for XR hardware systems. This includes providing free-to-use, rigged 3D models of known controllers, which will enable sites to dynamically load controllers that match what the user is holding for a variety of systems. For more information, check out github.com slash immersive-web slash WebXR dash input dash profiles. For Model Viewer, we plan to ship version 1.0 in early 2020 with noteworthy improvements including support for Draco encoded models, support for soft and real-time shadows, and integrating animations from interaction prompts. For more information, check out modelviewer.dev. The future of the immersive web is bright, and we're hoping you'll enjoy exploring the possibilities. If you're interested in learning more or have specific questions, swing by the XR Sandbox at Chrome Dev Summit and say hi. You can also find links in the description for details about how to learn more and get started with the features and tools mentioned today. Thanks, and enjoy Chrome Dev Summit.